Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be reviewing the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation and Concealer. I will be giving you a demo, showing you some swatch comparisons and letting you know my overall thoughts and review. So if this sounds good to you, then give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Let's start with the foundation. I picked this up because it was just sitting right next to the concealer and looking at the bottle, you really don't get much. It literally only says liquid makeup. So I jumped online to have a look at what I had purchased and it is described to be hydrating, smoothing and has a natural finish. At Priceline online, there are eight shades available, but on the CoverGirl Australia website, there are 21 shades available. I picked up the lightest one, L1 Ivory. It comes with 30 mils of product and it retails for $19.95. Now for reference, my skin type is combination. I do get a little oily throughout my T-zone, but I can also get quite dry around any breakouts that I have. When I first applied the product, I used two pumps of foundation. And as you'll see in my demo, I like to go in with a concealer brush and apply the product all over first. And then I go in with a Kabuki style brush to blend it out. I find with Kabuki brushes, I do get a better coverage. And using a sponge with this foundation, I found that it really soaked up a lot of product. The foundation felt really nice on my skin. It was lightweight and very breathable. Breathable? Breathable. <laughs> It gave me a nice natural finish as described, and it was definitely a medium coverage. Now I could build it up just a tad, but you wouldn't be able to build this up to a full coverage. It's definitely a very hydrating foundation and left quite a dewy look to the skin, a lot more than what I was expecting. The shade match did look good at first, but I found throughout the day it did oxidize a bit. It wasn't anything too crazy, but I could definitely notice the difference between my face and my neck. Now, I don't usually get the best longevity when it comes to hydrating foundations, but with this one, I was getting around that eight to nine hours where it was still looking put together and nice and fresh. Of course I did powder, so that definitely helps with the longevity. And the only places it started to break up were around my mustache, of course, and a little bit on my chin. I found around this area here, it did sink into my pores a little bit. So to combat that, I went in with a pore filling primer, like the Benefit Porefessional or the L'Oreal Pore Refining Primer. Now I've been really into mixing my foundations lately, so I did try putting in a pump of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Light Porcelain. This foundation I thought would help to increase the longevity and it would also help to lighten the foundation. But I found the formulas of these two weren't quite a compatible match. Although it did lighten the foundation and it did help with the longevity, it looked a little bit patchy on the skin. So to lighten this foundation up, I just went in with my trusty Astralis Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops. Overall, this foundation wasn't anything outstanding for me, but I did enjoy it. I thought that it had a really nice finish, my skin looked great and super healthy, and it had decent longevity for a hydrating foundation. Next is the matching True Blend Concealer. I picked this one up in the shade L100 Fair Porcelain, and this is a big one. It comes with 10 mils of product. Now, I did buy this from Priceline, but I can't find it on the website to tell you how much it is. So I had a look on Chemist Warehouse, and they sell it for around $15. On the Chemist Warehouse website, there are eight shades available, but on the CoverGirl Australia website, there are 30 shades. Now, I'm not sure why there are such big shade variations between the CoverGirl website and actual retailers, because I don't think you can shop directly from the CoverGirl website. So it's a little bit strange because I don't know how we're meant to get our hands on this extended shade range for both the foundation and concealer. Now the finish of this concealer is described to be a full coverage matte that is also lightweight. Now I don't know how they come up with that. Like it's definitely lightweight, but it is in no way a full coverage matte formula. For me, it has a medium coverage with quite a dewy finish. When I think of a full coverage matte concealer, I go straight to my L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. That hits the nail on the head. This formula is nothing like that. So although with that being said, I do still like this concealer. It's just not what it's described to be. It's quite different to what I usually go for, but I have been enjoying the more lighter coverage, more fresh and hydrated under eye look. 
This shade is actually super fair as well. It has a neutral tone and leaves my under eyes looking quite bright. I haven't usually been going this light with my under eye concealer lately, so I'd definitely be interested in picking up a shade or two darker to see how that goes. I did try a few different powders with this concealer and my favorite by far was the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil because that powder has a bit of a sheen to it. So it helped leave that hydrating look under the eyes. Whereas if I went in with a matte powder, it just completely got rid of the beautiful finish of the concealer. All right, let's jump into some swatch comparisons of these products compared against some of my other favorite foundations and concealers. Okay, so here are the concealers. This is the CoverGirl. Here we have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the lighter shade 320. And then in the next shade up, 322. This is the shade that I like to use under my eyes so it matches my skin tone. Here we have the e.l.f. Chemo Concealer in the shade Fair Beige. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Ivory. For foundations, here we have the CoverGirl. This here is the L'Oreal True Match in 0.5N. Here we have the Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation in 02 Fair Porcelain. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110. All right, guys, well, that is all from me today. If you enjoyed watching and found this review helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to check out more foundation reviews for fair skin, I have a whole playlist dedicated that I will link down below. If you've tried out these products, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, especially on the concealer. If you found it to be more of a hydrating formula rather than a matte as it's described. Well, thank you all so much for watching. If you aren't already, make sure you come follow me over on Instagram and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.